Russell was hanging out with the King of Jordan. I did, I hung out with King Abdullah, or uh, Ab, as he liked to be called. <laughs> We're hanging out, he like requested a meeting, and uh, he said, why don't you come on over for dinner to the palace? So I was like, yeah, he, uh, me and Gabriel Iglesias, yeah. he invited us and a couple other comedians and my brother, and we were, we were there having dinner. He cooked a steak, and then he, he started giving us alcohol. Nice. And uh, Russell and alcohol, not so good. It's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm the same guy, but I have less of a filter, and I started telling him things like he had really nice eyes. <laughs> and Gabriel's like, what are you hitting on him, fool? I go, no, 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 I'm just saying he's got really blue eyes. I, so uh, he asked me what time my flight was in the morning. I said, it's 10.30, leaving the hotel at 7.30 in the morning. And he goes, oh, that's too early. I go, well, the, you know, he's like, I'll call the airport. You leave at nine. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right, you're the king. The airport's named after you. You can do that. So I get to the airport. We all get to the airport at 9.30 in the morning. Our flight's at 10.30. There's these guys on the curb waiting for us. They take our passports and our luggage, and they send us up to a VIP room. And we're all chilling in this VIP room, looking at each other like, I can't believe, did we just really hang out with the king last night? And then it's like 10 to 10 now, and an angry Arab, looking, uh, an angry Arab dude walks in the room, looks angry as hell, holding a passport. He's like, Russell Peters. And I'm like, that's me. I'm cocky as hell because I hung out with the king. I'm like, what are you going to do, right? Like, so he's like, come with me. And I go, no. And he goes, come with me. And I'm like, all right, you ain't got to get all uppity. So, so I go with the guy. He goes, you have, where's your bag? Right here. You have two phones. I'm like, how does this guy know how many phones he goes? And he snatches my phone out of my hand. Give me your phones. And I'm like, I look around the room and everyone's like, I don't know what's happening. I go, I don't know what's happening. So we walk out of the room. He goes, you speak Arabic? I'm like, no. He goes, huh. And he leads me down these stairs. And in my head, my little uh, thug life in my head was thinking, trip him down the stairs. <laughs> Choke him out and then run back up, right? But I didn't do that. So we get to the bottom of the stairs. There's two military guys standing with Uzis pointed right at me. And my ego kicks in and goes, the king came to say bye. <laughs> I'm like, this is cool. I'm like, it's okay, guys. It's me. And they're like, so I'm like, oh, this is not. So the guy leads me down the hall, sits me in this room, sit down. And one guy with an Uzi stands with the gun pointed at my head the whole time. And another guy has a gun pointed down the hallway. I'm like, what's going on? I look at the table beside me. There's a camcorder with a blanket over it. And I'm like, this is an interrogation room. But my Indian side kicks in and goes, that's an old camcorder. <laughs> We really need to get some new product in here. So that's what I was thinking, right? So he starts interrogating. He's like, where were you last night? I'm like, I, I, I did a show. And then where did you go? I was like, I, then I went to the palace. What palace? What do you mean, what palace? The king's palace. Which king? What do you mean, which Don King? What do you mean? The, the king, the guy behind you is a picture of the king. He goes, my king. I go, yeah, your king. Why you went? Because he invited me. Huh. And he lights up a cigarette, and every time he's not looking, I keep looking into the camcorder and making faces. I'm like... Because <laughs> I'm thinking, homeboy with the gun's going to shoot me in the back of the head. And if I, if I die, I want my last video to be... <laughs> right? Just... So I start sweating right under my boobs, right? Because I'm getting nervous. <laughs> because it's really silent. And then all of a sudden, I hear in the hallway, like, a whole bunch of Arabic being yelled at. Uh, I'm like, what's going on? This guy starts yelling, ah, what's going on? And the guy that had the gun pointed at me is pointing down the hall. I go, what's happening? And I hear, don't point the gun at me, fool. And it's Gabriel. And he comes in the room on the phone. And I go, Gabe, what's going on? And he goes, uh huh, uh huh. And he gives me the phone. And I go, hello. And it's the king. And he goes, never be the first to leave a party again. You just got punked, biatch. 